So now let's see how we can work around with the offset filter inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So in order to work around with the offset filter, I'm going to go around onto the filter menu right here. And here you can see that other is an option. So from over here, you can click on offset and this is what you have. So if I were to go around and change the horizontal offset, you can see that I can change around the offset of the image right here, just like this. So what you can do with this is if you want to make an image uh, seamless, you can use this effect. Let me just press OK right here. And what I'm going to do right now is take the uh, take the uh, healing brush tool right here. So this is the spot healing brush tool. Let me increase around the size of the brush right here, just like this. And if I were to go around, I can just go around and draw right here, just like this. So it smoothens out the edges, as you can see, so that the edges are connected to one another right here. So if I were to go around right here and then uh, just go around and draw it out right here, just like this, then this is what you have. So if I were to go around right here, then you can see that I missed out the edges. Now I'm going to go around onto filter, onto other right here, onto offset as well. Then you can see that you can also add in vertical offset right here, just like this. Let me just go around, change this out, and this is what you have. So once I go around and press OK, I can just go around and then add in uh, the spot healing brush over here, just like this as well. So you can go around and then uh, draw around right here. Let me just go around and draw around right here. Let me draw around and then smudge it together so that there is nothing right here, which seems like it is connecting. So once you do this, what happens is that um, uh, everything becomes seamless right here. So if I were to go around onto filter, onto others right here and offset, I can go around and then uh, set, like set everything to transparent or repeat the S pixel right here, just like this as well, according to how you want. So I'm just going to go around onto wrap around and you can see that this is what you have. And you can go around onto set to transparent right here or repeat the S pixels as you can see according to how you want for the offset as well. And once you go around and do this, this is what you have as you can see. You can go around and then offset everything out right here. And no matter how you offset, you don't seem to get the S right here. You still have the S but you can still remove it out according to how you want as well. And that is how you can use the offset option inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.